Hey guys, it's the Web991 here, and this will be my guide on Grenwell hunting. Um, just to start off with is some information about Grenwalls. Um, the best hunting place is here. It is south of the Elf Camp. Um, the favourite <coughs> bait for Grenwalls is Pour Your Meat, which you get from also hunting in this area. The drop spikes were for around 1.15k or 1150 GP each. Each time the drop spikes to drop around 16 to 21 each time. Uh, you earn around 40 to 60k experience an hour here. You earn about 600k to about 1 million GP an hour as well. And at the moment, it's quite a good money maker. So what you need is 77 Hunter, 80 plus is preferred because it just gives you a few levels on top of what you originally need. Um, you need 69 summoning to consume fruit bats. And you must have also completed Registrad to be able to get to the location of which grandmas are at. So the items you need are around 5 to 8 box traps a summoning potion, an anti-poison or super anti-poison, one to four fruit bat pouches, you can take all your fruit bat, uh, fruit fall scrolls, you need 3.2k for the charter ship, and a teleportation aid which is either a teleportation tab or a Amulet of Glory of which I have equipped because that essentially allows you to have an extra inventory space. Other things you might want to take with you are some papaya fruit of which you can uh, obtain by using your fruit bat and its special move fruit fall and maybe some raw polio meat to start uh, collecting the spikes straight away. So if we take a look at what I'm wearing, it is full uh, full Larupia, the hat, the top and the legs. And now we've got a glory and a spotty cake. The spotty cake basically gives you less weight so you're able to run there quicker and that's about it. Um, you don't really need the spotty cape. I would advise a Larupia though because it helps you um, kind of camouflage yourself. I don't know if it actually works properly but in a lot of the guards it's uh, said to be helpful so yep. So to start off you want to be uh, starting near a bank and getting all your items out as you can see I've got mine out. Then you want to be teleporting to Karamja after reaching Karamja, you want to be going east towards the ship that takes you back to Portsmouth. Remember to have that 3200 GP on you because this is where it's actually needed. The main reason that this is a great money maker is because the actual spikes are made for extreme ranging potions. So for people trying to get 99 herb law, it's obviously needed that they use all these different potions for the faster experience. So you go to Charter and you pick Poyot Tyrus. Alright guys this is where you actually just follow what I'm doing because I'm not going to talk my way through as I'll probably get confused and end up confusing you so if you follow me you'll be able to get to the grand walls.
So now we're here, basically this is where you start setting the box traps up. I found it quite effective to set your box traps up um, away from each other, at least two to three spaces away from each other, as this kind of helps with you not being around. It's a bit like bed snaring, um, because obviously if you're further away, <laughs> hypothetically I guess the cat's so here, yeah, and that's maybe what the game actually employs into its engine and for the uh, grand walls and the poyers to be actually that quite into that, uh, that intelligent but I don't know if that works it just seems to work for me so make sure your boxes um, are set up away from each other so to start basically you really want to um, summon your fruit bat there we go and then you want to be setting your left click option which is done by right clicking on the little summoning icon next to your map you want to be clicking on summon left click option or select left click option sorry and special move confirm that and this means every time you now press or left click on the summoning icon your uh, familiar will do its special move and you want to be doing the special moves so you're able to get these uh, papaya fruits. Soon you've got uh, about 8 to 10, you can start setting up your trap. The way you want to be setting your box traps up is putting it down, and as it just opens, put your next, uh, or put your, boat, uh, your bait in. This uh, stops you walking away when you're. when you've uh, put your box trap down and this gives you like s seconds to uh, extra to be able to put another box trap down and basically just speeds it up ever so slightly obviously when if you're only 75 or uh, 77 hunter you can only uh, set four traps up so don't worry about this I've got over 80 meaning that I uh, can set five up, and as you can see, I've uh, spread them out quite uh, quite well. You just need to be putting them down, setting the baits up, and obviously sometimes you're not going to get a, a very good uh, setup of your trap. We're not really going to do it very effectively, but it just takes practice. And as you can see, I have not been on for a while so my practice is uh, <laughs> not paying off at the moment um, so yeah you want to be doing this when you get a poly on meat just set the trap back down and set the meat into there because there's no point in setting up at another position you've pretty much got your trap set up where you want it to be they're all set up evenly away from each other or a decent amount of distance away from each other after that you just want to be putting it back down and doing and setting the uh, the bear up as you can see I've just got 20 spikes which is uh, basically the start of the start of where we are uh, earn our money from. When you start running out of uh, papaya fruits like now make sure that like, there's no box traps set up on uh, like fell on the side because they can actually disappear quite fast I think they disappear within about 20 seconds right after that you want to be basically casting your fruit for um, not every time does the back let through, but the majority of times you'll find that it does. You want to be casting it a few times, making sure that like money really your box traps end up falling. After the do, just take your meat or your bait, lay it again. My terrible th quick clicking's just not prevailing today, is it? Um, so yeah guys, if uh, you don't like flipping and you're not very confident on your ability to do so and you've got 
the recommended are the the skills that you actually need and obviously the quest I would recommend it, it's probably one of the best money makers there is available and you can earn a lot of money especially if you're concentrating which I obviously aren't doing at the moment because I'm talking while I'm videoing and that bloody bat does your head in get out my way but yeah this is this is quite a decent money maker um, getting up to 69 something was a pain in the uh, ass I guess but apart from that it was well worth it um, let's just take everything because I'm finishing the video getting the 69 something was a bit of a pain in the ass but apart from that it um, wasn't too bad takes a bit of time, takes a bit of time to get in used to uh, this like three click thing I say three click with a quick click and so you know where you're going and stuff but it's great money and you can earn a bit of prayer XP and a bit of herb life if you decide to drop the herbs after cleaning them but that's pretty much about it and thanks for watching guys um, please leave your comments about how your family scarred thumbs up if you obviously liked the video and favourite and subscribe if you uh, want to see some more of my guards and vlogs by the way guys um, I might take some of my videos down because I, I would like to go for a YouTube partnership but obviously because I'm only new to video making it's quite far away but I obviously don't want to infringe any copyright so I may take some videos down but apart from that Cheers for watching guys, um, obviously thumbs up and I'll see you next time which should be very soon with my new vlog. Cheers guys.